Good day folks, my name is Jason Linstead and welcome to Jason's Northern Outdoor Adventures. I'm in uh, Happy Valley Goose Bay today and this is my uncle's backyard. Look at the view behind me. Amazing spot you got here, absolutely beautiful. Sit on the back deck with a coffee and look at the Mealy Mountains all the time. Got her made. We're, uh, I came over to Goose Bay last evening there. We're uh, getting ready this morning to go to the bay. We're going to do some smelting, we're going to do some trouting. Hopefully we'll smack into a few nice trout. See how that goes. Going to have a little fry. It's a bit overcast here this morning. We're at about roughly around minus 10 right now. I was supposed to go up to minus 3. The sun is supposed to come out after lunch. But uh, we're going to get out and get the ice fishing tent all set up and the stove going. Hopefully have a little fry. Look at that view. I can't really take any with the view, I gotta be honest. <laughs> yeah, don't get much better than this. We're getting everything tied down there now and uh, getting ready to hit the trails. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. seen the gray there last second and I tried to holler over towards him and she never had the power to holler at him. <laughs> She's gonna beat a track around the front of me there now and hook onto her. There were a little pluck shouldn't be much of this it's not real deep it's only about probably eight ten inches there. Got the sleigh on hook and push to one side. A lot of people moving on the bay this morning. I suppose this is the first good day you had yet temperature wise. Degrees. <laughs> We're in the six degrees that's down about 24 degrees for what it was yesterday. Yeah, it was. Up about 24 degrees. Minus 28 yesterday morning, and now it's minus 6. Yeah. This is beautiful. Everybody's definitely taking advantage of this today. Now, if we can only get out of this, we'll take advantage of it too. <laughs> Had to screw out, no problem. Let's give her a little pluck on. She come. It's just that little patch of slob right there. He's gone back now to get the sleigh. And we're going to head her over that way down there and get a few holes down. Mealy Mountains at our doorstep. Now let me tell you something, you can't make this up. <laughs> it's not meant for us to get fishing today. We got the sleigh out, we got the skidoo out, a little bit of slide was there. Uncle pulls up and says okay, points where we're gonna go. I looks at the bag of skidoo, no auger hit. <laughs> oh my, apparently it wasn't tied on good enough. For the record, I didn't tie it on. <laughs> now he's gone back up across now. We just moved around Part Ridge Island there. He's gone back out around the edge there now, followed our track back to see if he can find the auger head. And hopefully, with any luck, we'll finally get over fishing. <laughs> oh man. One of them days. Finally got a hook in the water. <laughs> yeah, we had a bit of a rough day with augers and slob and everything else. <laughs> But there's still, uh, still a couple of good people left in the world. Good to see. Last auger fellow picked it up. Put it on Facebook. Got in contact. Returned it. God love his heart. So we came a little closer to home. Decided to drill a few holes and see if we can get a trout. We're getting a couple of bites when they're taking the bait. I, I, think, I think we're just feeding them. Fattening them up for someone else. <laughs> it turned out to be a beautiful evening after all. 
right here in the river right down the lawn might even light a little fire in a minute perhaps don't seem right unless you got a fire going hey boy <laughs> These two, two lovely little pan soys. I'm only at this stage in the game now. I'm only after enough for to get some for supper tomorrow night when I get back. Get back home, fry up a couple of nice fresh trout for the wife. So another probably half a dozen. Me and the wife and the young fella will have a wonderful meal. Waffle, you better get kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> What we're using for bait there, just got a plain hook with a lid weight on it and we just got a chunk of capelin put on there and I got some shrimp there too. Shrimp I find don't stay on the hook very well. You only get one bite and it's gone but the capelin with the skin, especially the tail piece, you go through the bone in the middle and stays on pretty decent. But with the shrimp we were just feeding them. But that's alright too, we got to fatten them up for next time. They're not going to grow if we don't feed them. <laughs> Here, biggie, 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 biggie. Got one? <laughs> nice fish or what? Hold him up and have a look at him. Boy, that's a nice one. He's flicking, eh? That's what he's supposed to do. When you see these fellas ice fishing, wouldn't they all look and not flicking? That's not for sure. A little bit staged, is it? <laughs> Some pretty cool tip-ups Uncle come up with. Give him a little little plug on them now. I'm impressed. <laughs> Just got the weight on the back there, and you see when it goes down, you got the little flag on them. The weight keeps them back. You see the fish trout jiggling on them. We actually, actually I've been running around to a couple here now. And when you want to go fishing, goes right together, and you got a nice little fishing ball. That's uh, pretty creative. I gotta say. You never know, I might have to get in to make me a set for your birthday. Very creative, look at that down. Oh, was he? Was he moving? Yep. He just went right down. Came back up. You want to give a try for him up? No. Pretty sure he's there. Pretty sure he's there, Skippy. Oh, that's a nice one. Another beautiful one. I presume we have enough for supper tomorrow night, D. <laughs> Lovely trout. Oh yeah, them tip ups. I'm figuring if I drop the hint enough, I might get a set for my birthday. Four beautiful trout for supper tomorrow night. I could have had one more, but I focused on getting the camera rather than getting the hook. And he got away. <laughs> getting ready to pack up there now. It's a beautiful evening. The wind died right back. Swing this way, the way trying to make you dizzy. See the beautiful skies behind me there. I'm gonna have quite the quite the scenic ride back across the river. 
Got everything cleaned up there now. The hook's took up, just packing up the final bit. Got the trout there, I'm gonna put them aboard. The heads in that there, I'll just leave that. A, give a fox or something, will come along and have a meal on that for sure. Perhaps a raven or a crow or anything at all. So we're getting everything packed up here now. And I really, I keep saying it because I don't really want to do it. <laughs> Such a beautiful evening. Look at that sky. One thing with Labrador, it uh, never disappoints with the scenery. Watching the video, thanks for the click on the video. We uh, yesterday didn't exactly work out to what we had planned, but even still, we made the best of it, and it was a great day. We got out, we got to see some beautiful scenery, we got some nice riding, the temperatures were good. And yesterday evening, we even got back over to uh, have a little fish, managed to catch a few for supper. I'm always pretty excited about that. It'll be fried up when she gets home from work this evening when I get home. And the last auger there, like I said, there's still some uh, wonderful people left in the world. It was good to see. With all the bad going on today with the news and everything else, it was good to see that there's still some good hearted souls out there. Contact us through Facebook and got the auger back yesterday, and no issue. Wonderful people. And I mean, there's no real surprise really, because in this part of the world up here in Newfoundland, Labrador, the people are just phenomenal anyway. Not to brag, but we're the best. <laughs> But yeah, we guys get over yesterday evening for a little fish and uh, worked out great. So I'm on the way home now. It's about a five hour drive ahead of me. Long, lonely road to home by myself. But we'll definitely be back again. I'd like to thank Uncle Murr for uh, having everything set up there and taking me out for a look around and see the beautiful scenery and the mealy mountain sunsets. You, you just, you just, you can't even describe it. You almost gotta come see it yourself. So a uh, big thank you and a big shout out to Uncle Murr up there. Next week I'll be doing a video for a contest giveaway. Ducks Unlimited gave me a couple of things there to give away as a committee I'm currently a part of. And uh, I feel they do a lot of great work. I'll talk a little bit more about that when I do the contest. Definitely stay tuned for that. So drop us a like and subscribe. And uh, catch us on those videos. Follow along when anything we do if you like what I'm doing. Until next time, stay safe.